this whole motor has been designed in 3D and we'll be posting a full 3D model that you can look at every wire and nut and bolt on this thing. But basically, the uniqueness of it is these are two Nordic track or exercise machines uh, wheels. They're, they're the wheels in the middle of a ski type machine. So from those machines we used, we're trying to use common parts that people can replicate to work. So basically what we have is we have 16 neodymium 140 pound pull magnets. We have a shaft from a exercise ski machine as well as the two flywheels, uh, two flywheels from those same type of machines and they're mounted side by side. There's six coils and uh, we're using the bearings and the axles and the spacers from the ski machine so it's easy to reproduce. Also we're using 24 circuits and six coils. Um, these are just um, off-the-shelf chips. These are not chips everybody's frantic about. We just did some tests and got bought bulk chips. Um, NPN chips. They're rated at, uh, I think they're 160 volts um, chips. But they they're have to be high-speed switching chips. It, it doesn't work as well if they're not high speed. So you can go down to Surplus and buy different types of chips and run tests with the different types of chips is what we did and we found one that works pretty well that we're able to pick up the chip for under 50 cents. I'd like to give you a little look at something. These wheels come off a of Nordic track ski machine, excuse me. These came off a ski machine and they have a they only work in one direction. They make a great little starter for these motors. They fit the axle perfect. Uh, I cut one down. I want to show you how it works. But basically this is um, off of one of the ski machines. It's the roller that the track rides on. So pop this on. I'll give you a quick look at it running here. Put that on there. You give it one of these numbers and you're done. Now we run tests uh, over 20 hours. We ran the motor and um, basically it was only losing a couple hundred milliamps uh, from one battery to the other. So it's highly efficient. We haven't put a generator on it yet. We've got some plans, a couple different types, um, but it's making considerable torque, which is what this motor was designed for. We're not trying to capture as much radiant energy as we are trying to generate torque to run a generator. It's not the same. The mass is about 15 pounds, 15, 18 pounds. I'll give you an exact number in the breakdown, but two spinning wheels there, that's considerable amount of mass. Um, turn it up a little bit for you, show you what we got as far as speed here. Show you a couple of the features that from building these motors, many of them we've learned. Um, this has, this motor still has a welding rod cores but we are casting our own so there there are some new st things coming along here with percentages and castings using iron core cast in a substrate um, that we can change out the cores and do some tests but um, basically this motor here is the BMG and technically what it is is it's a 624 motor it's got six coils and 24 circuits and the way this is set up is you can change out the chips the little screws make it easy 
and the ground where all the grounds are, excuse me, where the positives come together on the motor is set up in a way where it also has screws. So that lets you pull each individual one and check ohmage across the input with the switch on and you're easily able to track down the, the bad shit by putting, turning the motor on, unhooking it, setting up a meter to read ohms so when you got a dead chip that's a dead short, instead of pulling all those chips, we just pull a single wire on each one of them until we locate the one that's shorted. Um, and that cuts the time to fix a motor way down because we're running surplus chips. It's uh, cheaper than running $5 chips and smoking one of those, we're able to run a lot more tests and feel a little more confident about uh, not worrying that we're going to fry a set of chips. Uh, we have magnets mounted using little retainers that are sh drilled and screwed right into the wheel. Uh, put a safety shield right on the motor because the, the mass is considerable and something flies off of that at a high speed and it's like a bullet. So. Obviously, it's not completely protected, but mm, it's somewhat protected. It's polycarbonate shielding, so. But, let me turn this up a little. The, the purpose of this motor, the VMG project, is to build a Bedini style motor that's generating um, considerable torque as opposed to radiant energy uh, to run a generator. So the pulse motor is extremely efficient. It's a great way to make torque, but you have to do things a little different than the standard motor. Um, one, one thing that's different is our coil lengths. Each coil is a quad filer coil, and there are only about 60 feet of wire on each twist. So there, there is 100 and, uh, 240 feet of wire on there, but there are 60 feet lengths, so um, they're twisted together and added another circuit, and that seems to increase the torque. So what we're doing here, as we're using the adenium magnets because uh, it's just creating, they create more torque than the standard magnets. The cores right now are um, welding rod cores, but it's designed in a way that lets you change out the cores. We are cast, currently casting cores and running tests with cast cores in another motor. So this is uh, the VMG project, virtual motor generator project. Just wanted everybody to get a good look at the new